My name is David Kenny, and uh, my rank is commander. So I finished off boot camp uh, in January, and then uh, after that I was assigned to uh, Radio Mene School out of San Diego. Uh, because uh, in the beginning, uh, as, as we all do, we take an ASVAB test that qualifies us for various ratings in the military. Uh, I was scored pretty well, so I was able to pick uh, a technical field, which is what I wanted. Um, the ET field, which I could have had, I would have had to wait longer to get in, and I didn't want to wait anymore, so I picked the radium and rating, and uh, I was able to get a, uh, the school in San Diego. So I left boot camp, and, uh, and I flew to uh, San Diego, uh, and went right to, uh, to A school after that. And of course, that was the very first time since boot camp that we were out on our own, and uh, we were considered to be, quote unquote, real sailors. Um, so it was, uh, for somebody who never left Burlington, Massachusetts, uh, and didn't travel very far, uh, this was a brand new experience for me, and I was loving every minute of it. Uh, first time I'd ever been to California, uh, San Diego was great. It was, uh, you know, as far as uh, my first exposure to uh, the left coast, as I call it, um, that was probably about the best you could get. It was sunny, it was warm, uh, the area at the time was, was uh, really thriving. Uh, there was a lot of things to do there uh, during our off time. Um, so, uh, and, and I had a chance to go to LA a couple of times while I was there uh, and see and meet a lot of people that I never would have gotten a chance to meet. So I enjoyed it so much out there that um, I spent um, uh, from January through April uh, in A school, and when they asked us at the end of A school to fill out our dream sheets, where do you want to go next? I was listing every single ship I could find on the West Coast. I wanted to stay on the West Coast. And uh, so when I did that, uh, like everything else, I mean, the Navy had other ideas. Um, so uh, the last day of A school, we got our orders. You go over to the board and you look to see what you're going to get assigned. Of course, I got assigned to USS America uh, on the East Coast, and um, at the time, um, she had just uh, uh, embarked for the Met, so I knew that uh, to, in order to get on board, I was probably going to have to meet the ship somewhere. Um, I just didn't realize it was going to be off the coast of Beirut, Lebanon at the time. But uh, so that was my next, uh, that was going to be my next duty station. But I really, I had a great time out there. I had a wonderful chief um, that was in charge of us out there. Uh, and in my off-duty hours, I worked in the uh, the uh, postal office at the A school. Uh, as uh, part of my duty assignments um, and because I had a great chief to work for I mean he was pretty flexible with us as far as time off so I can honestly say that I had I had more than my fair share of, of uh, liberty while I was out there and so I was able to because of that see a lot of things and do a lot of things that you know otherwise I probably would have been able to do so it was really again a great experience and call it a luck of the draw but you know so far from, from my time at boot camp to A school I saw nothing negative at all. I was really having a good time. And, uh, you know, being a young guy, I was 20 years old at the time, um, you know, I was loving every minute of it. So that's uh, the, in, in April is when I found out I was going to get assigned to America. And that was my transition to my next next assignment in the Navy. And I was looking forward to it. I wanted to be on my first ship in the worst way. So I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but I didn't know what it was going to be like to go to boot camp either. One step at a time.